it's just Tom here. This is a quick video just to demonstrate the current EDP and power throttling issues I'm experiencing on my Dell Precision 5820 with an i9-10980XE processor. So although I've been in communication with Dell and they've explained that they are enforcing current uh, EDP limits to try and adhere to the Intel rated 165 watt TDP, this processor in stock factory conditions um, will try and turbo boost up to 3.8 gigahertz on all cores, or 4.7 on two, I believe. Um, and when you're running workloads that use AVX instructions, it will consume over 200 watts in stock configuration. So the 165 watt hard limit with current EDP throttling and power throttling is really sort of chopping the legs off or nerfing the performance of this CPU and unfortunately Dell don't seem to want to acknowledge that. Um, if I was to take the CPU out and build it into another system on a board that's not from Dell, um, it would absolutely fly and it would probably turbo boost at 3.8 gigahertz all the time, um, even under AVX workloads. I have a Handbrake X265 encode going on on this system at the moment, <laughs> which I am remote desktop to. And uh, you see, with Intel XTU open, um, we have EDP and power limit throttling triggering. Um, and the CPU is sitting between 3 and 3.2 gigahertz, so slightly above its base rate, but well below the all-core turbo of 3.8 gigahertz. Um, if we were to just, uh, in Intel XTU, raise the power max, uh, turbo biz short and long power max, and the processor current limit, and apply these. What you'll then see is, once the uh, the Dell cooling um, solution ramps the fans up on the CPU and stops thermal throttling, you'll see that we only have current EDP limit throttling and no longer power limit throttling and we're sustaining about 3.3, 3.4 gigahertz, which is indicative that the system is capable of performing better and over overcoming those limitations. Rather, they are artificial limitations imposed by the Dell BIOS. If you can see, just the 3.3 is trying to consume over 210 watts. What I'd like from Dell is that they just acknowledge the fact that these CPUs do not operate within their 165 watt TDP, and those that have invested in a CPU like this uh, are looking for performance. So a BIOS option, even if it voids the warranty, um, to release the strict um, current and power limitations would be um, what I'd suggest as a uh, as a workaround for this. Um, just to reference you to my thread on the Dell community, Precision 5820 i9 10980XE, current EDP limit throttling there, and someone else's thread that I've also posted in, Precision 5820, Xeon W2245, 20, current EDP limit throttling. The issues discussed uh, at length in both of those um, threads, I've been in contact with Dell support, etc. They've put me in front of um, this article which I have referenced in my thread here I believe yeah so Dell posted this article here um, and unfortunately Dell say uh, if you really want to test the performance of this machine don't use AVX workloads well AVX instructions have been available for quite a few years and most computationally intensive um, loads or workloads implement them, such as fairly standard task um, video encoding. So, um, not really a good answer, Dell, so hence this video, so I can sort of highlight it and either something gets done or at least I raise awareness and make people aware that if you're buying the X299 platform, Dell Precision 5820 with a high-end processor in it, you don't get to uh, you don't get to exercise the muscle that you spent your money on. Anyway, thanks for watching.